Awaite everyone, this is Greg News Pastor. Welcome back to Higurashi no Nakukoroni. This is Meakashi Hem, the fifth of the main eight arcs and uh, my favorite arc. And the first answer arc, and we've been getting a whole lot of answers. It's also most, or er, it's also semi parallel to the second question arc, Watanagashi Hem. Uh, so basically, we get. <coughs> We discovered that who we thought was Myung holding Xion, host Xion Cage hostage and, you know, killing the mayor and Rika and Satoko and Watanagashim. It was actually Xion who was born as Myung, taking back her identity, uh, her original identity, and putting Myung, who was actually born Xion, uh, in the cell and um, killing Mayor Rika Satoko and kidnapping Cage and um, and uh, last time Shion killed Myung um, and uh, now Shion I guess is uh, posed as a hostage um, <coughs> Post this Milan's hostage, um, so she and let her get let herself get rescued by the police, um, and then she's gonna she's planned to go out of the area before um, they discover that the fingerprints are different. Um, so uh, let's continue. Uh, this is probably going to be the last chapter of this arc. So we're probably finishing it up tonight, and then we're gonna get on to my second to favorite arc, to Mihorobosh Hem. Um, hopefully Thursday, but I st still have to install it and mod it. And well, I'm planning to s to switch computers, so I have. Oh boy, it's gonna be a lot of work on my end. I, I. I think I'll probably want to uh, get my new computer set up before I even do anything with that arc. Um, so uh, I'm gonna shoot for Thursday, picking that up. But um, I'll just keep you all updated on the Discord. Might as well throw the link up. I usually do this at the end of the stream, and I probably will again then, but if you haven't joined the Discord, there it is. There's the link, and I really should um, make a note to uh, make like a hot link on the YouTube VOD uh, for whenever that pops up in the chat box, um, just to make it easier. But I do also link it in every description of the VODs, uh, no matter what the game. <coughs> That's how you get notified when we're about to go live, and how you keep in contact in the meantime. Excuse me. I had a pearl to hock up. Lovely. I know. <coughs> this may be our last tip. Notebook. Page 199. Why did you make it 199 if this is the last one? It's just so unresolved, but this is only the first answer arc out of four, so. <coughs> so I guess thematically it makes sense. We don't even know for sure if this is the last tip, but that's my guesstimate. I'm guessing this is from the standpoint of the police. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am going to do this in Oij's voice. Uh, hold on one second. Sumozaki Shion's last confession is dubious. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. This is still Xion's voice. Because remember, Xion is Mio and Mio is Xion. And we all go together, goo 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 <laughs> um. So, 
Sonozaki Shion's last confession is dubious. Did the Hai convince her that the Sonozaki family had nothing to do with it? Or is that the truth? Well, you killed her anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter anymore. In my own investigation so far, I've proven there are aspects of the curse which can't be explained by the Sonozaki family alone. So, my notes were all bogus from the beginning. These 200 pages are full of bullcrap. I thought of burning this notebook. But I won't do it. This notebook proves my guilt. I won't distort the facts. I won't burn it. After all, my life is only a notebook long. I wonder if anybody will read this. If somebody does, please let them learn something from my stupidity. Uh, it's like... Practically the end of every question arc. If anyone is reading this, please discover the truth. That is my only wish. The series of mysterious destiny Namizawa, dubbed Oyashiro-sama's curse. If you're reading this, please find the truth. That's my only wish. Nailed it. June. 1983 or Showa 58 in the Japanese um, Sonazaki Mio Okay Let's continue <coughs> oh, Excuse me I'm gonna go have to get a tissue one of the pearls as we smirched my hand, and that is gross. <coughs> oh boy. I'm assuming this is still Shion's voice. June, 1983. There has been a series of disappearances in Hinamizawa Village, Shishiba City, Prefecture. Okay, maybe it's not her, because it's typing. Okay, now this should be Oish. No, not many. Let me read those lines then. Gee, 1983. There has been a series of disappearances in Hinamizawa Village. Shibone City Prefecture. The suspect is Sonozaki Mion, 18 years old. Allegedly, she abducted five Hinamizawan residents Sonozaki Oryo, Sonozaki Shion, Kimiyoshi Kiichiro, Furude Rika, and Hojo Satoko, and it put them from June 19th through the 21st. Preliminary investigations on the incident were delayed at the time due to insufficient evidence, but by chance the case was solved rather abruptly. On the morning of the 22nd, the vehicle patrolling the Sonozaki property heard screams from inside and rushed in as an emergency measure. The secured- Okay, so that's interesting. It wasn't Rena who summoned the police. They heard screams. They must have gone right up to the property. And what happened to the text? <coughs> they secured the suspect's missing young younger sister, Sonataki Shion, and the two missing classmates, Mai Barakeichi and Ryugu Reina. Um. Hello? Said it to skip through a whole bunch of texts that we've never done before. The suspect fled the scene. We found hair, pieces of skin, and blood of the four missing people. Sonezaki Oryo, 
Shimiyoshiki Ichiro Furederita and Hojo Satoko in a torture group that was discovered in the basement of the outbuilding on the Sonozeki family property. Supposedly, that's where they were killed. We concluded that the victims were tortured in that torture room. However, their remains have still not been found. According to one of her imprisoned classmates' advice, the bodies should be somewhere in the basement of the outbuilding where the torture took place. However, nothing has been uncovered as of yet, including the escape route the suspect took. In addition, investigations continue regarding any possible connection to the series of mysterious deaths in recent years. But no evidence that Sonozaki Mion was involved, either directly or indirectly, has been found. There are still many unclear points as to the motive behind the incident, and as those of the Sonozaki family and the residents of Hinonizawa have been extremely uncooperative in assisting us, we expect to require a long time to clarify them. The opinion of the local officer in knowledge about the region is that this may have been a lynching, an, an internal form of punishing sacrilegious acts carried out against the beliefs of Hinamizawa village. It is clear that these incidents are particularly rooted in this region, and the prefectural police department has ordered a cautious investigation. We anticipated gaining valuable clues from a missing person believed to have been in prison for the longest time, Sonozaki Shion, the suspect's younger sister. However, the incident has left such serious mental after effects that she has not been in a state of mind to properly answer any questions about what she knows. The psychiatrist concluded that she is in a temporary state of shock. But as of today, she has yet to show any improvement. Doc, you say? <coughs> I was acting at first. It was just an act to be to avoid being interrogated by the police. As it turns out, though, fake insanity can become real. You see, I couldn't bear it any longer. I continued to be haunted by the present city Gurena had talked about. It was so close that it could almost touch my back. It wasn't Satoshiku, and it wasn't a hallucination. It had become Shion's ghost. Shion didn't go to heaven after all. She was always by my side instead. Shion didn't like the fact that I was still alive when she wasn't. So she had decided to haunt me until she witnessed my death. Every night she whispered to me, telling me to die. I get it. I get it! <laughs> I shouted at the shield at my back. Oh, my vocal folds are already tensing up. This is not good. Through my mouth, she shouted back at me. It must look odd to other people. They'd think I was arguing with myself. It's not fair. Why are you still living, sis? Die! Die! Die already! You said you died right after you killed me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's so dark and cold in this well. It's cold. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts! I get it! I get it! Shut up! What exactly do you get, sis? You won't die in the way you want to. You're just running away. You're trying to survive even after you did all those horrible things. You'll never be forgiven. You're cursed. You're cursed! You're destined to die! Shut up, Shion! You just go. Just shut up. Shut up. One, one. Sis, sis. So tired, guy. You lousy, lousy piece of crap. 
It's not fair. It's not fair. You and I should always be together, even after death. So, Neon, I've come to take you with me. Neon! Xion banged on the door. That noise is too loud. It's cracking my ears and my head open. Xion's trying to break in. Oh, crap. Oh, I hate Xion. I get it. The perfect way to me, for me to die is to be cursed by death by you, isn't it? But I won't be going so easily. I won't simply disappear. It wouldn't be fair if your beloved was left alive after all. I went out onto the balcony to avoid shield. It was on the other side of the door. If I jump over the railing to the neighboring apartment, I could reach the fire escape. <laughs> Eat crap, Chion! I leaned over the railing and jumped to the balcony next door. Then I rushed down the stairs, noiseless as a cat. Chion was too stupid to realize it escaped. <laughs> It wouldn't take too long to get to KH's house on a motorcycle. Sion must believe that I'm still in that room. Such a moron. <laughs> Soon enough, I could see the Mayabata Mansion. I'd never seen it before, but I'd heard a great deal about it from Sion. <laughs> I'm feeling so lightheaded right now. She told me that Keiichi's room is on the second floor. I should wake him up. Throw a stone. <laughs> I threw a couple of stones at the window. And shortly thereafter, the light turned on. And the window opened. I saw Keiichi there. The moment I saw him, my mind was cooled off for a while. Even from here, I could tell that Keiichi was running down the stairs. He showed up quickly, with a doll in his hand. I felt depressed to see it. It was the doll he failed to give to Shion. It isn't fair after all, Shion. I'm so jealous, Keita. I want to receive a doll from Satoshi Good, too. Mio! Uh, uh, Mio! Oh, uh. it's <laughs> been it's been a while. Do. How are you? Genki ni shite ta? Been doing all right. Despite the burning insanity within me, I spoke to him calmly. It's true. My body is controlled by the demon now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here this late. Oh my! Konna tokoro urotsuite de daijobu nano ka? Are you all right? Hanging around this place? I really shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway, what's wrong? What do you need at this hour? I wanted to talk to you one last time. I feel horribly sleepy. Maybe it's more like fainting due to loss of blood. I'm with you, Shion. That makes two of us. <laughs> that sensation is proof that the insanity is swallowing me. <laughs> Drinking more water will help. Well, I... <laughs> I can't stay for any longer. Uh, are you alright? Are you not feeling well? 
きょうまで<笑>頑張ってきたけど<笑>自分でわかるの I tried so, so hard to now <笑> But I can tell もうダメ<笑>もう限界私のお迎えは<笑>もうすぐ後ろまで来てる I dropped it down the well. It wasn't only her. None of the people I killed chose to die how they did. Considering that, debating how I'll die must seem a luxurious concern to the dead.
A sharp, indescribable pain ran through my head. <laughs> that incredible pain finally cleared the fog away from my nightmare. <coughs> I just slipped from the fire escape as I tried to return to my balcony. My room is on the eighth floor. I wasn't expecting to be caught up here. When I fell, my head landed right on the concrete corner, and I could feel both enormous pain and the warm blood dripping up. I felt strangely calm. I couldn't sense the demon, Hyun's ghost, or my grudge. I felt just like a baby. The nothingness brought me peace. Oh, my jaw just popped. <laughs> All my memories from when I was born in Yemion, up until today, came to my mind. No, oh, she's having her life flash before her eyes. <coughs> I recall memories of the time I'd spent with Satoshiku. Tears rolled down my cheeks. Where did I go wrong? When in my life did I make the wrong choice? <sighs> I do know just where and when that was. Because Satoshikun reminded me. I'll leave Satoko to you. Sure. I believe you'll return. I'll be waiting for you. I'll take care of Satoko. I'll wait for you with her. We'll be good girls. You left your precious sister to me and nobody else. I guess. I didn't get the significance of what you said. But I'll be fine this time. I love you. Sasuke. Sasuko. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody. Sion. I'm really sorry. Could I repay everything with my death? No way, right? That's not how it should be done. I wanted Satoshi to stroke my head one more time. I wanted to hear him mumble one more time. I knew it was too much to ask. And so I had no other regrets. That brought an end to my apologies. <laughs> I rolled over, sending myself falling to the ground. Head first. I hoped my head would crack open to take me to how I deserved. I was just a demon. I belonged in hell. Why was I born? And why did this world give birth to me? I shouldn't have been born. I would have had to suffer if I had been. What was the meaning of my meaningless life? If I were born, nobody would have had to suffer. Thank you for treating me kindly. Even though I was like this. Thank you for teaching me love. Even though I was like this. <laughs> Even though I was like this. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Everybody. I really am. I'm sorry. This Satish Goon could give me another chance. <laughs> I wouldn't make the same mistake again. Never again. Ah, here comes the ground. Bye. I love you. Er, sorry. I love you. Mm.
Rip Waifu. I wish so many times that everything was a dream. So I wrote it down, hoping for it to become true. Dreams and cartoons and are often like this. There's a huge stack of sweets. I can't possibly eat them all. I try to reach for them, but then suddenly wakes me up. This dream has been a tremendously long one. I must have been sleeping for more than a year. Oh. Ah, uh, that's right. I ran away from baseball practice. I stepped onto the street when the light was red. I got hit by a motorcycle. I've been in a coma since then, but I finally woke up. When I open my eyes, I see a hospital ceiling, and Sasashikun looks at me from the bedside. <laughs> That's a bit too perfect, but it's okay, right? It's okay for it to end that way, right? I'm sorry that I was born. Till the next world, Sonazaki Shion. Breakdown of all persons involved with or linked to the series of deaths in Hinamizawa. Hojo Tamae died via homicide by blunt trauma within the village on June 20th, 1982. Case closed. Hojo Satoshi, believed to have disappeared from the village on June 24th, 1982. Whereabouts unknown. <coughs> Tomitake Jiro, believed to have committed suicide on June 19th, 1983. Death resembles that of Hura Deniga on June 22nd. Investigation ongoing. Takano Mio, death by strangulation in the mountains of Gifu Prefecture on June 19th, 1983. Corpse was found incinerated. Investigation ongoing. Sonazaki Oryo, murdered by Sonazaki Shion on June 20th, 1983. So they did figure it out. Cause of death believed to be shock induced by stun gun. Violently abused post mortem. Head shows signs of extreme laceration. Hudererika, believed to have been murdered by Sonazaki Shion on June 22nd, 1983. Cause of death was shock due to extreme hemorrhaging caused by lacerations to the throat. Death resembles that of Tomi Takejiro's on June 29th, or June 19th. Investigation ongoing. Kimiyoshi Kiyichiro, murdered by Sonosaki Shion on June 22nd, 1983. Cause of death was ligature strangulation induced by restraints. Hojo Sato, murdered by Sonosaki Shion on June 20th, 1983. Cause of death is shock due to hemorrhaging induced by multiple penetration wounds. Sonosaki Mion, June 22nd. Cause of death is severe trauma due to impact after falling down a vertical tunnel. Maibara Cage. Stabbed by Sonozaki Shion on June 30th, 1983. Severely injured but is recuperating in a hospital. Ryugu Rena, last accounted for in 2004. Currently resides in Shibone. Oishi Kuraudo, 2004. Hokkaido. Kumagai Tetsuya, 2004. Shishibone. Kyosuke Irie, 2004. Address unknown. Ta Kasai Tatsuyoshi, died of liver cancer in 2002. Maibara Ichiro, 2004. Tokyo. Maebara Aiko, 2004, Tokyo. Tomita Daiki, 2004, Shibone. Uh, Okamura Shiguru, 2004, Tokyo. Chieru Miko, 2004, Tokyo. Kameda Kyoichi, 2004, Tokyo. Hojo Teppe, 2004, Tokyo. Darn it, he's still alive in this world. <laughs> Maebara Cage. Died in a Tokyo hospital on July 3rd, 1983. Cause of death is acute heart failure. Sonozaki Shion died on June 30th, 1983. Cause of death is a severe trauma due to impact after falling from the balcony of her apartment. The suspect for serial murders, which began on June 20th, 1983, fell to her death from the balcony of her apartment, which she hastily rented to conceal her identity. Following her death, police filed charges against her for the five murders which began with Sonozaki Oryo. Higurashi no Nakukoro ni Kai. Me Akashi Hem.
got chills up my arms. <coughs> the music isn't perfectly long to fit the credits, it just loops prematurely. <laughs> Okay. Well, this was a short stream. What can make it longer? Well, whatever this is. Ah, preview. I forgot, I saw this with someone else's stream. Alright, alright, it's lunchtime. Put a desk together. レナのお弁当はミートボールなんだよ。ええ。ちょっと、すいません。ワンチャンスミートボールデー。おお、そりゃいいね。おお、そりゃいいね。おじさんもぜひいただくよ。ですおめもハッサムね。ほら、リカち
for someone else's trap. Hmm. Well, it isn't so bad. Of course it isn't. Satoko ga kabocha girai o kokufuku deki ru yoni nichi ya kenkyu shite masu nade. I've been working hard every day to get you to overcome your dislike of squash. Sate, kono choshi de kotoshi juu ni nasu, piman, asparagus to seiha shite ikimashou. Okay, now that that's done with, why don't you overcome your fear of eggplants, green peppers, and asparagus within a year? Stop joking! At this rate, I'll transfer to a school in Okinomiya! Dame desu! Come on! Satoshi-kun から頼まれている以上、健康管理は私の担当です。I'm in charge of your health, since Satoshi-kun asked me to take care of you. I messed up the pitch accent with Satoshi-kun. I'm in charge of your health since Satoshi can ask me to take care of you. I won't let you eat junk food either. Shion san, kirai. I hate you, Shion san. Kabocha, iya. I hate squash. She's actually being responsible and living up to her promise. That's sweet. I guess that's supposed to very possibly, though ambiguously, apply or imply that um, the very next world, Shion did do it right, and that it wasn't just a repetition. <coughs> the scenario jump mode has been unlocked. This game features a scenario jump mode. You may replay any scenario you've completed before from the start menu on the main title screen. That's cool. Didn't have that in the question marks. The tips reading room has been unlocked. You can now read the tips you've obtained so far. To view them, select extra on the title menu, then pick the read all tips option. This music and the sound effects they're using sound so dissonant. The staff room has been unlocked. This is a thank you message for purchasing the game. To go there, select extra on the title menu, then pick the staff room option. <coughs> Excuse me. You have received new tips. A happy diary. Disowned. So let's view those. Uh, what is this? Achievement unlocked. Revelation. Reached an epiphany at the end of it all. <coughs> so I think it's. They were saying extra, but I think it's um what is supposed to be omake here. Maybe a mod changed it to omake. Who knows? Yep. Um. So. Let's do the tips first, and then let's view the staff room message. A happy diary. <coughs> Man, my voice is getting raspy. Kasai shi ga fumikonda toki ni wa, shitsunai wa mujin de beranda e no mado ga hiraki panashi. Sono toki ga tobi ori jikoku desu. I'll be honest, that <coughs> that teaser of the next world, um. Was really hard on me for voicing the female characters because I was trying to avoid that rasp and disguise it as much as possible. Yes, when Mr. Kasai broke in, the room was empty and the window leading to the balcony was open. Uh, okay, so this must be Shion's room. That was when she fell. So, the the Oh, I wonder why it's saying detective. It kind of sounds... Okay. No, maybe it's not, um... 
not the same voice actor as um, Kuma-chan. <coughs> she hit the elevator housing right beneath, which gave her a concussion. Then she rolled off the roof and hit the ground, killing her. カサイシが飛び降りを疑って地上を調べたときに遺体が見つからなかったのはこの時点ではエレベーターフロアの屋根の上でコントを中だったからです。うーん。<coughs> it seems like the PS3 version of visual novel that those voices were recorded for. Um, like the developers weren't thorough enough to make sure they recorded all the lines for all the right voice actors. It's very slipshod. <coughs> Maybe they had a tight schedule and um, they. We're only getting paid for so many hours of work. The reason Mr. Kasai didn't find her, even though he suspected her suicide, is that she was on the elevator housing at that time, unconscious. Maebara Keiichi was shot at the same time. At that time, the elevator was already on the floor. What did you say? Maybe the elevator was already on the floor. Maybe the elevator was already on the floor. Was stabbed at about the same time. Was Sonozaki Shion unconscious on the roof then? Shingai masne. Beranda kara nuke dashite mae bara keicho sashite. Oops, my headset. Oop, my headset got unplugged for a moment. <coughs> That's interesting that I went to Oishi's voice there. Uh, I doubt it. She must have snuck out of the building. Said Keiichi. Beranda e mata modoru toki ni ayamatte rakka. Janai ka na? Then accidentally fell when she came back. Doesn't that sound right? Wari kedo, shou hen no hea no beranda toka mo shirabe naoshite kudasai. Uh, would you look at the neighboring balcony again? Oi sa! Samba ni o denwa desu. There is Kuma-chan. Um, Oi-san, you've got a call on line three. Hi, hi. Dochira sama kara. Oh, who is it from? Sato to tsutaireba wakaru to ka. Ai kotoba wa ron to iye to. The informant from Matsubishihem and also his um, mahjong friend. <coughs> Sato, apparently. He says the password is ron. That's a mahjong term. Nah, hehehe. Moji Hello. Oh, Sato-san desu ka? Oh, Sato-san desu. Oh, Sato-san. See, this must have been fixed in the... Or this must have been spelled this way in the mod. Because the vast majority of... The Japanese text has it subtle and not sato. Um, there's an important difference there in the Japanese language. Vowel lengths are very important, and they're and both sato and sato or are um, fairly common last names. Although sato is a little more common, so I could see why they they leapt to that conclusion. But it is usually the Japanese says sato. こっちへ電話ということはいい知らせでしょうね。You must have some good news. Crap, I can't remember how to do Sato Sun's voice. Uh, think, 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 think. It was deep and raspy, and could also go high, um, fairly high in expression, uh, like with intonation. Hello? You were right after all. Mm-hmm. 
。ありがとうございます。今度フラワーロードで一杯おごりますよ。Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'll buy you a drink on Flower Road. なんです今の電話。麻雀の誘いですか ?Flower Road would seem too generic for、um, English.、Um, they should have, should have translated it, you know, either as the Japanese term or as like Hana Road. Or, Why did I pronounce road with a Japanese accent?、Uh, Hana Road.、Um, what was that call about? A Mahjong invitation? Bingo. So the next time I was gacking on this. Bingo. The Sunazaki sisters switch places. Mion and Shion, the Shion and Mion. Mion is Shion, and Shion is Mion. 入れ墨入れるときに間違って逆にやっちゃって取り返しがつかなくなったらしい。だからこのノートのミオンとシオンは逆に読むんです。それでなら、サトシ君とシオンさん、いや、ミオンさんそう、ミオン、シオンはスワップラウンドのスノーポー。そのサトシ君、シオンさんのミオンさんややこしいな。This is confusing. No, 関係が理解できる。Anyway, we thought you'd gain a clear understanding of the relationship. ノートって、先日のあの、大石さん宛と書かれて郵便ポストに投函されてたっていう、カイノートのことですか、Are... 中身はめちゃくちゃで、操作かくらんの恐れありって言いませんでしたっけクマちゃん、a little at a time, please. Really, it's... The people who coded either the game or the mod. <coughs> no, it would be the people who coded the voice mod, who separated it into sound, different sound files and coded it that way. I think that、um, they weren't too careful about where the lines were separated in a lot of these arcs, and it's a shame. But、um, there's a whole community still working on the mods, still、uh, updating the minimum. And working to improve them, so <coughs> I'm sure it'll be fixed down the road. <coughs> Are you talking about the mysterious notebook that you received the other day? Didn't you say it was all mumble jumbo that could possibly confuse the case? もちろん名前の入れ替えが分かったところで、かくらんの息を出ませんがね。Even after switching the notebook, どこまで信じていいのやら。I scratched my finger doing that. <laughs>、uh, Even after switching the names, it's still confusing. I don't know how much of the content I can trust. Moshi Honto Nara, Furderica no Shino Atari Gaya Sugiru Karana. Even if this is true, Furderica's death seems very suspicious. Ijosha no Niki desio. Yonderto, Kotima de Henny Narisodes. You're underestimating it. It's the diary of a lunatic. It drove me nuts when I read it. Saigo no page no. Umare te kite gomen na sai nante. Yonder to kotchima de tobi ori tak nari masu yo. How about you go out and do it? Then maybe you wouldn't talk over me so much, huh? You know this line on the last page about how she's sorry for being born? That makes me want to jump out the window. Demo. Shiawase na nichi ja nai desu ka. Oh, she's got his intuition spot on. Even so, this is a happy diary. Shiawase desu ka? A happy diary? Kono nikki dake de Satoshi kun te namae nankai kura i dete kuru to omimasu? Do you know how? Shion san wa honto ni Satoshi kun no koto ga suki datta nda na te. Wait, no. It's not directly the voice modder's problem. I bet this is how it was done with the PS3 version. So the PS3 version developers 
again are at fault. But the voice modders could have been correcting this. And of course, who knows how much they've changed since I've uh, incorporated them into my copy of this game. Uh, of the arcs I have of this game. Do you know how many times Satoshi-kun's name appears in this notebook? She wants that really loved him. But because she was so young, a few mistakes caused that love to be misdirected. Still not a happy diary. Disowned. I think he's just lonely. A little envious to have someone love. Hey mom, tell me. Why did you have a fight with a hag? Excuse me. It was bad enough that she disowned you, right? お前もくだらないことに興味が尽きないね。ま、そろそろ話してもわからないとしじゃないか。This is my first time voicing uh, Sonozaki Akane. <laughs> you're so nosy about everything. <laughs> well, I guess you're old enough to know. 実はね、父さんと結婚したいって言ったらね、ダメだって言われちゃったのよ。she objected when I told her I wanted to marry your father. え何それえ私も当時はだいぶしゃない生き方してて呆れられててねその挙句連れてきた男が人気者だったわけでしょ<笑> Like mother, like daughter. I, I was very... I was living a very unseemly life back then. Then the man I brought home was a Yakuza. So of course she got terribly upset. いい名付けは当主が決めるなんて言われてそんなのしたこっかいこんなクソババアこの場で切り伏せたらって大立ち回りよ She said, the head of the family will choose your fiancé and I said, screw your decisions you freaking virago So then we both tried to cut each other down on the spot we unsheathed our katanas in the living room and clashed and slashed and sliced. <laughs> you fought the hag with a sword? Way to go, Mom. Mane. Well, I was into martial arts when I was young. But she and I held high ranks in kendo, so yes, it was quite the show. Everyone nearby was terrified. Oh, that was fun. I see. So is that why you were disowned? So yo, Kando Joto. And you're not Kando Murate Tosan to Sekio Iretawayo. That's right. I was happy for it. I married your father right away. Ma, Kajimet the Koto de Tsumeo Hagasareta Kedone. Well, I was forced to remove my fingernails in atonement, though. Ora, Hidarita no Tsumeda Kibitsu de Show? See how the fingernails in my left hand look ugly? Aha, uh -huh, so this is a, a sort of common punishment. And that was also noted earlier by Oishu when um, he immediately knew what was up and told Shion that they'd, um, that as long as she kept them clean, they'd heal with no problems. Wow. <coughs> 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 So that's why you and the hag have a bad relationship, huh? Shion? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Shion? 
That's not actually true. Our relationship is actually pretty good. What? That can't be right. She has to be. Stop it! She's ねえ。I can't believe it. That doesn't sound right. 実はね、最初よ。鬼ババ様もね、その昔けじめで爪を吐いたことあるんだってよ。This is just between you and me, okay? She removed her fingernails in atonement a long time ago herself. 今度会ったら左手の爪をよく見てごらん。Look carefully at her hand the next time you see her. What? Gosh darn it, I am tired of it tonight. Holy crap, it's just as bad as like the beginning part of Himatsubishihem. Jeez, I... This irks me so badly. Gosh, I wish the modders would fix this. What? What did she do? So... Beats me! I don't have a clue. Ma,その顔は知ってるな。教えてよ! Hey, you do so have one. It's all over your face. Tell me! And Kasai didn't say a word, though his sprite was there. Well, I don't think he's the particularly talkative type anyway, but... <coughs> Achievement unlocked. Detective Meakashi. Read all tips in Meakashi. So, what we get, can gather from that is that as twisted as removing three fingernails was, it was a common punishment among their family, almost like a rite of passage. Um, of course, he had to really screw up to do that, but, or to have to do that, but. So, um, even though it is still twisted and disturbing and unhealthy uh, for family to do to each other, um, um, <coughs> a little more understanding could have helped prevent so much tragedy in this past arc. So let's view the staff message, the thank you. Do you think that murder can be justified, depending on the motive? Hi, this is Ryuki Shi07. Thank you for playing Higura Shin no Naku Koro ni Kai. Chapter 5 Mea Kachihem. Although I depict many deaths in my work, I often ask myself a question. That question is. Is there such a thing as justifiable murder? In our world, murder is prosecuted, and the degree of punishment varies depending on the motive and circumstances. Having different degrees of punishment means that we are putting a value on the dead person's life. Some scenes justify murder in Higurashi. By degrading the life of the victim in those scenes, the players can sympathize with the character more easily. The degree of sympathy would be different from person to person. The people who could sympathize probably felt catharsis, and the people who disagreed with the character might have felt uncomfortable. That's indicated by how opinions were polarized regarding Keiji's actions in Tadari Goroshi. In Meakashi, 
there are also a number of murders. But this time, the main character, Xion, tries to earn sympathy for each one of them. How did you feel? How much were you able to sympathize with her? If you couldn't sympathize with her at all, then please berate her as a crazy murderer. If you sympathized with her at all, then please have mercy on her. How about I do neither? If you sympathized with her almost entirely, then please have mercy on her. If you completely sympathized with her, then please let us berate both of you as crazy murderers. LOL. This should be murderers. What about me? Well, that's a secret. I'd like to reverse my question this time. What kind of murderer could you sympathize with if you were to be killed? A murderer who doesn't care about people's lives? That'd be quite a regrettable death. It's extremely sad to be killed in denial of all your values. A murderer who begs for forgiveness in tears? That'd be quite regrettable too. No, no, actually, I'd quite prefer repentance over them just telling themselves that it was justifiable. They shouldn't kill you at all if they're begging your forgiveness. <laughs> so what kind of murderer could you sympathize with? In the end, sympathy might just be a method for making the story more interesting. If you can sympathize, it's fun. If you can't sympathize, they're just crazy. You cannot put value in human life. It's a sin to even try doing so. A murder is a murder, exactly. Nothing more than that. I just hope everybody can live happily together. How does that sound? Would you agree to that? If you wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing Higurashi no Nakakoro Nikai, Chapter 5, Mea Kashihem. I could only bring out this fifth episode thanks to all of your support. Higurashi will only get more intense as it approaches the finale. Um... Well... It sort of will, but then afterwards, it'll kind of get less intense. Uh... I don't want to spoil too much, but... I don't think this line is entirely truthful. Anybody who's watched the anime will tell you that the first season is definitely, like, a dozen times more intense than the second one. Did I read this? Higurashi will only get more intense as it approaches the finale. Nothing would make me happier than if you continued reading the chapters to come. The next chapter will be titled, Tsumihoro Bashihem. Really, I'm rather fortunate if you've enjoyed yourself even a little. Thank you again for playing. I hope this has brought a little color to your life. Seventh Expansion Ryukishi 07 Higurashi no Nakakoro ni Meakashihem So, that'll be it for tonight. Um... Gosh. Can I really set up my new computer for streaming and install the mod or install the games and install the mods and and do all that crap by Thursday? Achievement unlocked. Meakashi staff room. Had a chat with Yuyuki 07. I don't know that I can. I honestly don't know. Um, but I will keep you updated, and, gosh, I won't have anything to stream Tuesday. Uh, well, the rest of this week for streaming is in limbo, but I will keep you notified in the Discord. I'll pop that link up again, just in case. Um, that's how you get notified when we're about to go live, and that's how you keep in contact with us in the meantime. And that's where I'll be updating what we're doing the rest of this week, if anything at all. So, um, 
um, be sure to stay tuned with that. Um, this has been fun. That was my favorite arc. Um, that said, there was a lot of heavy voice acting that really strained, strained my vocal folds at many times and ripped my throat to shreds. And I have, I have a feeling the next arc will kind of do the same thing, but with a different character. Don't want to spoil too much, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, but thank you all so much for watching, everyone. And as always, if you like what you see, please feel free to click like, comment, follow on Twitch, subscribe to YouTube, join that Discord, and you can back you and give it all will help me throw my future content towards your interests. I'm Rebel's Pastor, and until next time, Wale!